guys welcome to game two of the first best of three between uh the team saigon badoof and uh something sweet cute some looking cute feeling cute there we go we'll just call it a lezrus team because that's a silly silly name um not as silly as saigon badoof but saigon badoof's easy to remember yeah so here we are looking at the first bands katarina nunu maokai shen same pretty much as the last Same game. Pretty much Morgana. Look Morgana, at that. Morgana rather so than the, Mor the Draven. The Morgana really had an effect on them yeah. last game. Really carrying, I felt. I think we've seen Katarina banned almost every single game. I think she's been banned every single game. Yeah. Yeah. Except maybe one. And the, okay, maybe except like for one. Yeah. And then th that awkward moment when someone realizes no one plays Katarina at the whole tournament and <laughs> they were banning it pointlessly. <laughs> yeah. TikTok and McClock picking up that Tarek. They no really love Tarek. that Tarek. Yeah, I mean, Tarek has like a 90% win right now yeah. since he lost last, last game. Oh, QQ. <laughs> <laughs> um, hmm. What should we see going on? Surprisingly, they banned the Malphite. Weren't they really good with Malphite? Yeah, I believe so. Yeah. But I don't think they wanted to see... Um, they wanted to see Inox's Malphite, maybe? Or wanted to see TikTok's Malphite? I guess. I mean, you haven't seen them play it yet, so why let them have it? Because it is a very strong champion. Fair enough. I'm curious, though, what they're going to first pick and second pick here. Yeah, they could just do the Draven, uh, maybe with... Actually, Nunu's been picked. Or Bent, mm. yeah. Or that's what I meant, sorry. Draven, though. There's your Draven. Sona, maybe? Sona, maybe worked, out, Sona worked out really well last time for Fukus. I yeah. thought he played it very well. Oh, there, there we go, Sona's. Good call, good call. High five. Teamwork. Um, so Draven, Sona, yet again. Yep. A Mumu, yes, I want to see a Mumu. Well, there you go. There's He's so strong. Um, and Sugar Lolly probably going to pick up the Eddie Carry, I think. Or the Oriana. Oh, okay. a Mumu Ori. No, no, no more Ori for <laughs> Elezra. They're just like, nope. <laughs> nope, not allowed. Sorry, Elezra. You're not allowed to play that Ori again and get caught by Morgana ten times in a row. <laughs> Arthas Oriana matchup yet yeah. again. Wow, I'm so surprised. Actually, Canadian, he has a couple choices. He had Nocturne. Going to Olaf now, though. I just want to go talk to him right now. Just go, please, please, just go the GP5 round, not the Regals. Please don't do Regals. I hate it so much. Ooh. Okay, Cho'Gath. Cho'Gath is good. Could be potential, yeah. Cho'Gath is very strong with those ganks, as long as you can land your skill shot. Actually, Olaf is a very good pick right now against yeah. Oriana, Amumu, Tarek. That's a lot of CC that he yeah. wants to be able to run through. Yeah, exactly. Hmm. Skarner? I don't like really Skarner. No, because who? if you pull Amumu or you pull... Uh, Tarek, you're, you're pretty screwed. Yeah. I think Olaf is their best bet right now. Yeah. But, I don't know. I think Cho'Gath can work as well. Get the super tank, knock everybody up. He's going with Vlad. Mm. Yeah. So Vlad is one of those characters that can get really out of hand. If oh. A lot. They might think that it's Cho'Gath top. Maybe. It could be Cho'Gath top. Maybe. Mm. Ezreal being picked up. Yep. Potentially. I don't know, I feel like Vlad is kind of a weak top pick. Really? Yeah. I like think there's a lot of champions you can play against him. Oh, maybe I really have. Ooh. Yeah. And we just saw, like, Esquire is really is, like, beast mode. Freaking amazing. It's like wicked level. Well, no, okay, <laughs> not wicked level, but it's up there. Oh, Zug Zug. Zug Zug? <laughs> uh, we have our, our good buddy. Our good buddy in the streamer. I was controlling the stream basically. Trolling some people in the chat with Zug Zug. Um, Inox. Looks like he might be going for the uh, for the Rengar. Which is very good. If you think about it, what they can do is they can actually put the ball on Rengar, and Rengar is going to be stealth. And the oh, ball is going to yeah. be stealth, and then he's going to jump in, in. And it's going to be totally the ulti unexpected. followed by the. Followed by the Amumu. Ooh, oh. this could be really good. I hope, I hope they realize that. And there's the Irelia that I expected yep. to see. Aurelia, does she do good versus Rengar? I think Esquire's Aurelia does good versus anything. Definitely, I, I, definitely. I have faith in his Aurelia. Yeah, he's a really good Aurelia. Holy jeez, that last game. Yeah. Oh, oh, the dodges and the... Oh, just the, amazing. Like, the first two kills he got, like, on Jax, just were so really good. well played. Yeah. Really well played. It was one of those things where you might have traded a kill in a normal situation, but he just outplayed. Just strictly outplayed him. Mm -hmm. So strictly looking at the matchup, who do you think has the better team? I have to give it to blue team in this scenario. Yeah. Blue team has a lot of AoE synergy, and purple team has like a lot of strong champions. But 
it feels kind of weird like Sona I, I think mean, so like, good. yeah but I mean like she has like an AO really strong AOE power and then they have two really strong single targets maybe even three when you think about Canadian and like Karthus is AOE yeah actually I changed my mind purple team's looking more OP to me yeah really yeah because I think with Sona, Sona Ulti, Sona Ulti can, up by Cho. Sona, Sona Ulti can counter initiate. Cho's silence is also counter initiating. So of the wall, Arthas which everyone's going to have to fall initiating. for. It's all good. I think. That's, I changed my mind. You're such a just back and forth. I'm sorry. You're crazy. Living um, life on the edge. <laughs> what do you think about level one? Level one? Level one. Ah, uh, blue. Blue team Blues. has the advantage? Yep. Are they going to try and make a play anywhere? I, I think I don't think so. I think they're just going to chill with their blue. Yep, because of Mumu. I mean, you can't really can't really be too aggressive with a Mumu. You want to get that blue buff. Because if you don't, you're going to have a hard early game. Yep. Meanwhile, with Purple's team, again, with the Karthus, I feel like they can scout around a little bit. Maybe they're going to go for his red. Maybe. For Mumu's red. It's a possibility. Definitely a possibility. How hmm. do you feel about Jungle, uh, jungle Cho'Gath? Very strong. Very strong? Yeah, a lot of strong ganks. Just gets to be a super tank. You just build him tanky, and you just win. So you think he's gonna? Be, you think he's a top tier jungler? Top tier jungler. If not top tier, he's just below it. Okay. You know? Just at the edge. I think the the only thing making him not a top tier jungle is the fact that he has two skill shots, which makes it almost harder to gank with. His, du his W doesn't count as a skill shot. The thing is like half the screen width. If you it's still if you're if you're out of range, like uh. Can okay. Hurt. Okay. If you're out of range, but it's not really a skill shot. It's like saying. I really is R as a skill shot. It is. You got to point and click, buddy. If you miss, you miss. Well, when it's I think not going to zoom in When I, when I think of like skill shots, I'm thinking like Karthus Q, Oriana Q, etc. Like stuff, Ezreal Q. I don't know. Q's. I still think it's a skill shot. That's it's right, an fine, AOE fine. skill shot. Fine, 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 fine. <laughs> Has a wide range that it can hit. Okay. <laughs> fair enough. Wait, fair is enough. his knockup not a skill shot? As a really wide, his, it's like his, half the his, his knockup is a skill shot. It's like half it's, the half the width of the screen, bro. Yeah, but it's like it's it's uh it's slow and it's so predictable. Well, it's not predictable, but you see like the little ring. Yeah, I hear you. I hear you. But I mean, the same kind of idea can apply. Is what I'm trying to say. Fair enough. And it really is going that ignite. So that's yeah. interesting. Not going to teleport. Not so. going to go in for the kills onto Mr. Inox. Definitely. Maybe she has the idea that she can outplay Inox now. Very true. Actually, I'm going to look at Inox's match history. I haven't seen him play Rengar, Rengar yet. No, he hasn't touched Rengar yet. But I'm pretty sure he, it got picked with the uh, Orianna in mind yep. to have that super combo. And I, I hope Purple Team's aware of that um, combo so they don't get caught out by that. Pretty similar runes of masteries. This time he went 15, 14, and 1. He went magic, magic penetration in the offense tree. Interesting. Yep. Well, his, uh, his W's magic yep. counts as a spell and whatnot. Yep. Um, I don't it doesn't apply to his Q. Uh, no, it doesn't apply to his Q. I guess it helps with the W harass. Unless yep. he's maxing W. Might First. Be. Yeah, might maybe be. for like the mad heals the and The heal and the armor and the yep. stuff he gets from it. Yep. Possibility, possibility. Suppose we'll see. One, two, three. Team four skin up top. And Team 5 skin down bottom. Damn. Wow. Wowza. They got some good skins going down down there. Yeah. That ostrich Irelia. She looks like an ostrich there. What do you think of what do you think of the portraits? Sorry. What do you think of the portraits right now? Do you think it I think it makes everything look cooler? Yeah, but I think in solo queue and whatnot, it's a bad idea. To have. I think it's a bad idea too. Especially for people who are like just underneath the threshold of let's say like gold. Yeah. And they're gonna be forever known as silver players. Oh, that's or silver nub getting up to why is he playing at my fifteen eighty exactly, yellow? Exactly, exactly. Yeah. That's gonna be Or think about the end of the season. You're gonna have silver players that like diamond. Exactly. And yeah. they're just gonna be playing up there and just be like yeah. Who carried you, Nub, and et cetera? Who are you exactly. duo, duo queuing with? Oh my god, we're going to lose, et cetera. Yeah. It's just a negative kind of idea in yeah. general. Yeah. It'd I be agree. nice if people weren't what idiots, but... I think it's just, it should be shown in What's normal queue? Yep. Not in rank queue. In normal, normal queue and ranked teams, maybe. Well, well yeah, in ranked yeah. teams, because you're playing with friends. Sure, yeah. sure. But in ranked queue, is it really necessary? I don't think no, so. No, but I mean, it's nice to have. Like, oh, look at my awesome yeah, it's thing. So good. Yeah. yeah. Unless your teammates are all D-bags and they do the same thing where, <laughs> oh my god, this silver nub, I'm carrying a bit ranked. Uh, 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 uh. Exactly. Uh, 
These guys are just spamming the emotes. I know, it's so annoying. Do you do this? I, I never do this. <laughs> when I play Nunu. Oh, when you play Nunu? Just yeah. Nunu. Just that. Robot uh, Nunu. The robot Nunu. Exactly. That's what I'm the, uh, the awesome thing is, is I, uh, I switched my laugh from Control 4 to Z on its own. Oh, so you're just like... So as I'm just walking around, hit Z. Nice. Z. Z. So let's see. Red team. They could be making a play on blue, actually. Potentially. Aren't, aren't they? Yeah, that, that's what, that's what <gasps> oh, they do. Oh, that one strategy, yeah. Yeah, yeah. They yeah. start out at rates and then head over to blue. Oh, this oh. is very good. This is very good. I love this play. If they can get the knock up onto... I'm, ste I'm, I'm stealing this play. Oh no, Elezra didn't throw his ball in the correct area. I hope they're I hope they're just patient and they just wait there yep. until Elezra. Well, they've been shown to do that. Exactly. Just does, be patient. Does Chogath have Q? Probably. I hope Q so. Q started. Yeah. Yeah. yeah I'm, okay. I'm okay, sure. Yes, he does. Yeah. If he misses that, that would be oh, so. Oh, wait for the ball. Please throw the ball over there, Elezra. Do it. No. No, Elezra. There we go. Elezra flashes, Why? but doesn't get onto the other side. Oh my gosh. Can Elezra make it? That's the question. No, I don't think so. Uh, the 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 good knockup first blood for Esquire. That's really bad. Very nice. That is really bad that Esquire got the first blood. Oh yeah, Esquire, Esquire too. Jeez. Oh, she just changed his name to Beastwire. Best Bestwire. Bestwire. Beast Choir. Not sure. Esk Beast. Esk Invada. Esk. What's that? I don't know. Sk. I don't know where we're going with this. Skeleton King. Skeleton King. Huh? That's Skeleton King. Inox here, but uh, we have a level 2 gank from Cho'Gath, potentially. I feel like Inox knows something's going on. Yeah, he's trying to hop away. Canadian with the knockup. Oh, just hops to Canadian to try oh, and get out of there. He misses that skill shot, apparently. GG. I, I guess that skill shot isn't as What I tell you? What I tell you? Well. That's what I thought. I'm just kidding. Yeah. <laughs> He's so aggressive. What's up? What's up? Trash, huh? trash you wanna step road. to me, bro? <laughs> <laughs> bro, do you even do you even lift? Oh huh? my god, that'd be so funny. Uh -huh. I really like the harass that Rengar can do in that. Yeah, that little jump lane. thing. It's very, yeah, it's very frustrating. Constant jump, jump harass. Ten CS in the mid lane versus seven for Alezra because Alezra was kind of dead for a little while there. Yep. This is AD Carry trying to harass Samuel. Inox taking so much damage from Esquire right now. Yeah, I'm really not sure about this. Ringer, Ringer, yeah. I, I feel like just them just forcing just to do that one like little combo yep. might not be worth it. It might. Who knows? Later on in the game, it, it might pay off. Game, yeah. But if Esquire just dominates Rengar in lane, then it it'll really, matter yeah. less. Exactly. I think that I think that maybe even picking Irelia on their own would have been a better choice. Maybe. Like getting Inox on Irelia? Maybe. Maybe forcing Esquire to play that uh, Jax. I really feel like if they if they win this again because of the Irelia, she's going to be banned in the next game. Yeah, either banned or picked, essentially. Actually, no, she should definitely be banned because if she loses, if uh, the red team loses, I, never mind, it'd be another best of three, so they do rock, paper, scissors still. They do another rock, paper, scissors. Yep. Speaking of which, guys, if the red team loses this, uh, this or the blue team loses this game, we go to another best of three. Which Correct. is kind of a pain in the butt because it's <laughs> another uh, it's potentially another three games for us to cast. But no worries, no worries. It's fun. Yeah, don't, don't be negative about it. This is, this is this is fun. We're having fun here, right, guys? You're right. Yeah. Yeah, people are having so much fun. Yay! See, now I wish we were at like a live event so we had like cheering and stuff. Like oh, Freak's yeah. like, yeah, let me hear you, etc. Let me hear you scream at you like GSM. GSM. <laughs> <laughs> A little bit of silliness going on. Just a little bit. Yeah, we're not very serious about this game, even though it's pretty serious for these teams. I think I'm serious. I just, I enjoy having a little bit of joviality. Mm. There's nothing really happening right now. Exactly. They're all just kind of... It's LOL Farm Fest. Yeah. I mean, we might try and make him play mid. No, he's like 200 HP. Never mind. Yeah. <laughs> he's going to hop in on Karthus and get hit by one Q and die. <laughs> pretty much. Karthus yet again doing amazing. 36 CS versus 20. Yeah, it helps that he got that early blue buff, so he's just been harassing and yep. spamming and doing everything he can. So How's Esquire doing? He is 16 versus he's actually losing. Wow, he's actually losing wow. in CS. That's surprising. That is very surprising. Oh, he went back. Okay. Yeah. But I mean, so did Rengar. Oh, did he? Yeah, look at... Oh, yeah, yeah. Don't okay. Don't trip. Sure. <laughs> Don't trip. Lol. I love the voice. Uh-oh, here comes Inox getting hopped on. No! Oh, he dodges. man. What a, oh, the skill shot's getting, getting the skill dodged. Skill shot's too OP. 
I think maybe hopping to Canadian there would have been an alright idea. And oh, and Ox getting chased down. The knockup misses yet again, and the heal from his W actually kind of keeps him alive there. No, Esquire, what are you doing? Oh, man. Amumu's right there, too. <gasps> Could potentially. Oh, oh the, the ultimate. Base renewal kill. I think Amumu is too low to try and dive 2v1. Wow. Ezra taking a lot of damage here. Wow. Auto, auto attack. attack. Just auto, auto attack. Just auto. auto. Don't be a beast. Just auto him. No. Oh, Esquire gets the kill again. Wow. This is this game's going not too great for the blue team. Yeah. Not too great. I just really feel like blue team, I mean, uh, purple team is on their game these past two yeah. games. These last two, they've just been wrecking. Yeah. Compared to the first uh, the first one that they lost of the day. Yeah, they kind of got wrecked back. Yeah, they got stomped. And now they're kind of back for re revenge, I feel like. Definitely. Hmm. Samuel with some more harass. 37 CS versus 37 bot lanes. Pretty darn even. Yep. Double Dorans versus almost a phage. Interesting. Standard stuff. Kind of moving coming down here. The thing is that if you would have been just a couple seconds late, that ward would have been gone. Yeah. Inox taking a bunch of damage from Esquire right now. Is he maxing his W? Yeah, it looks like he's maxing W first. Who? Oh, the Ranger. Inox. Yeah. That's what we were talking about before. Yep. Which is smart. Mm hmm. Definitely. Gives him a lot of free sustain and damage. Yeah, a lot of tankiness. Because doesn't it give him armor and MR? Well? Yep, gives him armor and MR and heals himself. It's, yeah. it's really good. Very nice. Sugar Lolly might, uh, might be able to make something happen. Playing a lot on that... Uh, uh oh, based Ooh. on Newell getting engaged on... Amumu is in 6, so oh. something to keep in mind. Yep. If we move with six, we might. Oh, Jeez. he just walked He's missed away like from every that. single cue. Yeah. <laughs> TikTok could have just walked away from that, in fact. He probably. Didn't even need to flash. Probably. Oh, lordy. I don't think Canadian plays much Jungle Chogath. Yeah. Maybe he decided to because uh, he wanted to show off. Yeah. Well, bro, like the Lander is still No, no, no. Show off his uh, skin. Yeah. That he bought. He's like, I have this skin. I'm not using so, it. Battlecast. <laughs> mm. Hmm, bot lane. How do you think this is going, really? I think it's just, they're just doing their own thing. Super even. Yeah. yeah. The team is really coming up ahead. Haven't seen so, any ganks. Really. Tarek is maxing his shadow this time. He's not as yeah. worried with the harass coming down as he was before. And Ox doing a little bit of that harass to Esquire, in fact. Because Esquire was going to ward. Huh. Warded right around the blue area. Which is pretty smart, I think. Because Amumu is another one of those champions who really don't think will ever go into the enemy rates to like try and gank through there yeah fair enough fair enough and besides the red team has boarded that location already the more forward your wards can be the more you can kind of predict where the opponent's going to go before they end up going there i'm surprised Escar usually just falls behind in cs i'm not sure why that is i think he maybe tries to harass a little bit too much it's it's a possibility you know like 38 cs versus 53 he has two kills but still you know that cs difference there. Oh, Samuel actually getting stun shattered. Fupo's taking a lot of damage as well. 2100 to 2600. I mean, uh, he still has a lead, Esquire. But that's Esquire. because he has two kills. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah. And because he has those kills, you think he should be up ahead in CS. Yeah. yeah. You'd expect that, but doesn't seem to be the case right now. Samuel doing a bunch of damage to this Zeta carry, as well as the ultimate from Karthus. Oh, so beast damage. Sugar Lolly getting chased down as well. Does excellent coordination from uh, from base to Newell and the rest of them. I didn't even see what happened because I was panned in on Rengar. So oh, <laughs> GG. Uh, basically, what ended up happening was um, the red team super engaged. Okay. Used the Sun ultimate and whatnot. Oh, okay. Same time Karthus ult. And any flashes? I don't. I think the blue team flashed on. Yeah, it looks like the blue team flash and both of them, both of them flash. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, and use both the summer smells like had exhaust and cleanse used. Again, Karth is getting pretty fed. And he has yeah. 30 CS on Oriana, so not looking too good. Not looking too hot, I guess. Not looking too hot at all. Chogath is finally going that. Actually, he's going. Um, he's maxing the W, which is interesting. That's his silence? Oh, the silence, yeah. Normally on Jungle, jungle Cho'Gath, you max the E, just so you don't have to use your mana using yeah. the W and stuff. You can just auto-attack the creeps and it hits the whole camp. Yeah. And it's more consistent damage um, overall because you're going to be auto-attacking and stuff rather than going AP and then 
Yeah, definitely. Hitting a lot of damage to W. I don't know. How do you how do you do you play jungle cho guys? No, I've wanted to, okay. simply because I've seen my roommate play a lot of jungle cho and it's oh, really, yeah, yeah, right, right, it right. works out for him. It's pretty beast. But um I don't know, he seems seems like a fun champion. Really strong one too, as long as you can land your As long as you can land those cues. <laughs> <laughs> and the W. Okay, fine. The yeah. skill shots in general. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> Finally, yeah. I'll, I'll admit defeat. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mumu coming in here for the gank. Is it warded though? I don't think it's warded. Okay. So he's level six now. He level seven, in fact. Yeah. Uh oh, here's the engage onto a Lazar from base to null. That wall being very aggressive. Wow. Oh, there it is. Fupo's taking so much damage. Looks like Fupo's goes down to TikTok, actually, not the AD carry. Yeah, that sucks. He actually had three wards, too, which is a shame. Oh, he geez. really should have thrown yeah. one in there before. Before moving forward before like that? Before checking. Yeah. yeah. I mean, he had no way of knowing, so mm -hmm. it sucks. Yeah, totally, totally. Still, one GP5, no boots for her. Tarek hasn't been back in quite a while. Does he have enough? He looks like he does almost have enough for his GP5. It's getting pretty close. He needs another about 100 gold. Yep. That's the disadvantage, starting out with boots first. Takes a little bit longer to get to your GP box. Definitely. Is he also running support runes? I think he's been gold starved a couple times now. I think so. Maybe Maybe he's not running uh, the GP5s he's, or the gold uh, the runes. gold points and stuff? Yeah. It could be a possibility. Maybe running uh, tankiness or something like that. Yeah, or we, should, we should check that out after the game. Definitely. Looks like base to null. He's going to be pushing down the mid turret. Here comes a Mumu. Oh, Inox play. might be oh, heading in along with the Mumu. They done. think that because Canadian's here, they have a really good chance, but oh, base to null. He actually, be, the Ezra ult, Lezra ulti actually knocked him the other way. Oh, oh really? Way. Yep. Oh, okay. Towards his own turret. Wow. That's a misplay then. Yep. I don't actually understand how it did that, though. Would the ball have had to been on the other side of him, like towards his own turret? That's most likely what happened. Yeah, that's unfortunate. He's just so big right now, though. 125 CS. Jeez. 50 with, with, CS lead. With two, kills. with two kills, yeah. Might get another one here if uh, AD carry decides to keep fighting. I love Draven. Yeah. I'm, I'm realizing as this tourney, tourney, tournament goes on and on, he just looks so cool and his he does so cool. much burst damage. And he has a lot of burst damage. Like unexpected, I think, too. Yeah. It's crazy. Canadian does have that Oracle. He's getting it earlier this time. Yay, early-ish Oracles. Very true. No Wriggles. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. I don't know, man. Wriggles, Choga, so beast. Yeah, okay. Inox and Esquire kind of trading blows here. How's Esquire. Go ahead, sorry. Oh, he's behind. I was about to say, like, how's he doing on CS? He is behind again, 20 CS. Yep. But I don't think the difference is that large. Actually, it's 500 gold still. Because he did get those two kills. 20 CS, two oh, I, kills. I really still has 500 yep. gold lead? Okay. I mean, it's not as much as it. Oh my god, TikTok taking so much damage. That was a good move by him to try and to avoid out the of wall. It. And we're ult? just going to see an ulti. Unless Elezra can get there, use the ball. Nope. Nope. He's not able to delay it. Oh, his ultimate wasn't up. So. Oh, it wasn't? Yeah. So he, he, he was making the right, the right thought. The right idea, yeah. yeah. Actually, could he, could he have balled a Mumu and saved him? I don't think so. Okay. Karthus does a lot of damage right now. <laughs> Sugar Lolly taking so much damage. The ultimate from AD Carry goes wow. up. Hits everybody. Fupo's almost dead, actually. That's a Sugar Lolly. Very close. Mm -hmm. Karthus salt again. <laughs> the CS is actually pretty much tied for these two in the bot lane. Yeah, they've been trading blows very well this game. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They're both very good AD carries. Very, very good AD carries. The best of this tournament. Definitely. <laughs> I, I definitely agree with you there. Sugar Lolly has, uh, has the GP5 now, which is really nice. Very nice. Getting a pink ward. I think that's a bit of a mistake. A pink ward? Yeah, because Canadian has that Oracles and has been coming around to clear wards. Oh, okay. So as soon as they see that pink ward down, they might get a ward, but... Possibly. I think Inox is... Or not Inox. A Canadian's going to come clear it out fast. Hmm, interesting. Karthus has a 50 CS lead, which is just growing by the minute. Wow. I'm not sure how they're going to be... Able Actually, I, th I think they can deal with Karthus just fine, because they have a decent amount of mobility. Yeah. person they can't deal with is Irelia and Draven. Yeah, they're going to be difficult. Oh, who's oh. going in? Interesting. 
he saw Ledger coming in from the side and knew that Karthus just yeah. back. Yeah, so yeah. Okay, fair enough. Kind of understand. Karthus doesn't have his ultimate as well, so. Oh, this is true. This could be actually a moment. It's not up for a bit. He is coming down, though. Oh, as is Inox. Potentially have a 5v4 uh, here. Yeah, I, I definitely think red team should be careful about fighting here. This, this yep. might be a bad fight if they... If they decide to engage on it. Yeah. They just saw Inox come down. There's 50 seconds on Karthus' result, so it will yep. not be up for this fight. And Irelia is heading down. If they can delay this... This is a bad idea. But it looks like the red team's just going to kind of go in on this. If Canadian... Yeah, Canadian got stopped early, so they got the dragon. The ultimate Doing goes off. Damage. Base to Null taking so much damage right now, as is Canadian. There is a double kill for the red team, a double kill for potentially the blue team as well. Yes, Samuel actually gets another kill. So that was uh, two for two. Looks like two for three if Samuel can get another kill. The bleed damage on Tarek isn't enough, though. And AD Carry is going to go down. No no doubt about it. <laughs> uh, ease into the wall. Ooh. So that was two for three, but the blue team also got Dragon. That's true. So I think mm. they come out ahead there. They also got base to Newell. This is true. They got the Oracles. Yep. Got that Oracles as well. But that was with Karthus all being down. If Karthus ult was not up, oh, that would have went the entire and, and if I really was there as well. That was a 4v5? Yep. I really was on the way, but she didn't make it until the literal end. Pretty much. Interesting that he's going uh, an Amplifying Tome. I wonder if he's going to go for a Sunfire King. Interesting. Huh. Maybe a Haunting Guys in Sunfire Cave? Haunting Guys Sunfire Cave, maybe, yeah. Yeah, the Magic Pen helps the Sunfire yeah. Cave do damage. Magic Pen also helps him uh, with his W. Yeah. Interesting. I haven't seen Rengar Boot built that way. That kind no. of like hybrid tank. Hybrid AP tank kind of thing? Tanky kind of thing, yeah. Interesting. Very interesting, I think. I mean, their AD carry is doing all right. Not really, actually. Never mind. Ooh. Oh, base to Newell. Offense forward. I don't think he can get him. No. Okay. Rah. Rah, 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 rah. All right, Minox. Yeah, he is tanky as hell. I don't think very tanky. I really can do much against him. 210 armor. Jeez. Wow. Crazy. I really is a nice little mix of damage, though. MR, or magic, and... Uh, the true damage. True damage as well. Very true. Yeah. Once he gets the Triforce finished, uh, that's going to be kind of annoying. Interesting that Karthus is actually maxing his Defile second instead of his wall. I think he figures that uh, the wall is not going to be as useful. As big, yeah. Fair enough. And that Defile up, you know, because they are going to be going all in. Oh, yeah, he's in trouble here. Oh, yes, he is. Inox is coming from oh, the side. Oh, this is very bad. Using one ability to get the stun off. Yup, the stun goes on, and here we go. Triple engage onto him. He goes down to Lesra. That's too much for him. Definitely. Lesra shields just himself instead of shielding the uh, Mumu again. <laughs> <laughs> I actually think, did Mumu flash for that? Yeah, he did. Yep. Actually, that was a waste, I think. Huh? What Wait, think? didn't he bandage? He flash bandaged. Oh, okay. It was a bit of a waste, but I think there was the threat that Base Nul can disengage. Fair enough. I mean, Base Nul didn't have flash or anything, so. Yeah. But he could, like, kind of peel back, maybe. Wall. His wall was level one, though. I don't yeah. know. Might have thought that Canadian was coming up or something. Oh, like fair that. enough. Okay. Yeah. If you look at... Yeah. 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 Samuel coming forward. That movement speed bonus he gains. Oh, the stun goes off. TikTok coming in from the side. As is Canadian's coming in from behind. Elizra's coming down hard. So the engage goes on very hard. Very Carey nice. Goes down. Samuel gets another kill. TikTok going to get himself a kill as well. Or TikTok going to get killed himself as well, I should say. Ooh. So yet another... Uh, Inox uh -oh. is in trouble here. And another bad time for Inox. He needs to cast ability and then stun. Or heal. He heals. Oh, man. He really can't do too much. Yep, that's it. Yep. Esquire can just chase him down. Has the Triforce. Even if you're super tanky. Is he maxing... Max W and then Q, I think? Oh, yeah. Yeah, he's maxing Q then. Second. I was wondering if he maxed W. Uh, w would be very strange. Yep. Does it increase the stun time? I think so. If you maybe. max E first? Uh, maybe not. Let me see. Mm. Doesn't seem to? No, it doesn't. Alrighty. Esquire gonna take down top turret now. I mean, they they really need to think about that Irelia. Like, they knew if Esquire could, he was gonna play Irelia. Yeah, I, yeah. I, th I think they need to address that. I think they were they were satisfied with just banning the Morg, the Morgana. Yeah. Because she was doing so much work, but really, I really was doing a lot of work too. Yep. I mean, I think they understand that Samuel on Draven isn't as much of a threat. Like, their AD carry 
can yeah. do a lot of work. Yeah. And he does pretty well against his uh, his Draven. Ooh, so they unbound it really him. is. Oh, this is this could be bad. Binding. Wow. wow. Because he had the ward there, he spotted that it was happening. Wow. So it just backs off. Oh yeah. Okay. He had the ward. I was like, yeah. That is some amazing game sense to dodge <laughs> at the last second. Okay. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> no, they they had the ward there, so it, they. It's more reasonable. Yeah. 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 Uh, that would be ridiculous. This guy I was would like be a genie. I, I was literally, I was literally like, just how, how in the world did he dodge that? Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah there's a ward right there. So GG. Karthus almost has the Ravenon's death cap, I believe. Taking a look at his gold, he has uh, yeah 818. It's about 300 off. Top turret still hasn't gone down for the red team, so it's probably going to drop here. Yeah. I think they have no turrets. Actually, the blue team has no turrets. Whereas they have three of their own down. It's not very good. Just oh, they don't have an Oracles now, which is interesting. Mm -hmm. I would expect, like, maybe a pink or something. Oh, whatever. They see Karthus on the other side of the wall there. Yep. Rest of the rest of the red team is kind of coming in here, though. A little bit. They have to be careful. Uh, very Esqu careful. Esquire is top. <gasps> TikTok oh, gets God. engaged on. Samuel is mean? here. The ultimate goes off. There's another stun. I think this is a little bit of a mistake engaging yeah, they're going a little bit to carry. A little bit too deep. Yeah. yeah no damage there. A little bit of a mis 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 miscommunication. Yeah. Oh, nom, 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 nom. Mm -hmm. Base to Newell is going to go down, though, it looks like. Ugh. That W actually just hit a creep, which healed him. Does he have ult? Yeah, why doesn't he ult? Who, Draven? No, Karthus. Because uh, he was already dead? He cast the ult from his death. Well, yeah, yeah, but I mean, like, he was already dead out of that, is what I'm trying to say. Oh, the flash fail over the wall, Esquire. What are you doing with your life? I'm still not sure what you're talking about. Why didn't he ult when he... When he died? Yeah. Because he just... There was, like, a Mumu to kill and Ezreal. He... Well, miscommunication. Oh, okay, okay. I mean... Yeah, no, I, I think thought, he was really focusing on Inox there. Okay, I thought and you saw that Inox healed up with his W. So right, he's like, right, right, well, right. Okay, okay, yeah. okay, okay. So I think at least, maybe he just wanted to say yeah, just right away. It's okay. Yeah, almost gets the kill on Inox. Interesting. He's like, I mean, Inox is going down here. Now he's in trouble. I think it's just if the turret hits him. Just give the kill to Karthus. Yep. Better than giving up a bunch of assists as well. Yep, I think so. As real get in the uh, the red buff, Karthus has his death cap now, so he's a lost starter. Oh yeah, he's a beast. Orion is not on her death cap yet, but building up to it. Yeah, she, it's surprising. She's actually doing a lot better this game. Yep. She's the last game she barely had her Athenes at the end of it, basically. Yeah. yeah. So how do you think the the blue team is gonna have to uh, come back here? What's gonna have to happen? Um, I think they're doing. I think they just need to communicate better as a team like that yeah. fight at bottom. I felt that was a miscommunication. They kind of went all in. Yeah. Without really knowing where the rest of the team was. Mm -hmm. I mean, they had the wards and they knew that the red team was right there. Yeah, but I think they... I'm not sure. It was like, just a little miscommunication. Uh, Ezreal wasn't there to do damage. and Yeah. They just went really hard when they shouldn't have. He actually went... Oh, does he only have a Triforce? Ooh, that's yeah. that's pretty interesting. He only has a Triforce, while Draven has a Phantom Dancer and a Bloodthirst, which is really going to come into play. I think. I think. Well, Draven has sixteen hundred more gold than him. Wow. Those three kills and five assists are pretty big. So wait, how much gold is Ezreal sitting on? He must be. What? <laughs> he only has what? He only has sixty-five hundred or sixty-six hundred. He has two thousand more gold than him. Two thousand now. Okay. Oh, no, no, it's still 1,500. I'm so confused. It's still 1,500 more gold. 1,500 gold, but how does he have, like, two huge items compared to... Well, because Trinity Force costs a oh, butt ton. Oh, shit. Yeah, right. It's 4K gold. Yeah. Versus, you know... 3K gold and, like, 2,800. Yeah. Hmm. So what's the blue team going to have to do other than just, like, not get caught and not have... I think they, they need to try and do that combo of the Oriole the plus combo. the Rengar, yeah. yeah. The red team's been really good about it, though. Like, not getting caught by that. Yep. Actually, they, they could be looking to do it right here. Yeah. 
This is kind of dangerous. Oh man. Oh, the engage on the base to Newell. I think that was a little bit of yeah, a early one. Yeah, they only got two people. It looks like it's going to be doing a lot right now. Base to Newell in the back, uh, getting engaged. Oh wow, double kill for the blue team. Inox going hard on Draven up top there. Whereas Esquire is kind of going in the mid, but he's trying to get onto all these low life guys. Esquire, oh, he has the GA. That's kind of scary. Inox almost getting the kill onto Samuel. Oh, Samuel and Canadian are able to kite that away. And. Irelli goes down, so that's three for two. I feel like Esquire chased a little bit too far there. Yep, I, I I agree. I think it was it wasn't a good idea to chase as hard as he did. Oh, okay, but I think it's super strange that oh, uh, I'm not sure what Canadian's doing here. That was he's getting caught essentially. TikTok going around the side, going to be trying to make sure that uh, Canadian can't. Uh, go around and oh he's yeah. missed like every kill <laughs> <laughs> i think he landed a queue once and it was on jungle minions yes <laughs> um but yeah that's that's really surprising to me that it ended up being a four for two yeah i felt like the blue team's behind they left kind of draven off to himself with like rangar yeah. right on top of him and they just kind of ditched him mm -hmm. choketh kind of came back to help but he can't really peel too hard and rangar's like a super tank right now yeah he's just actually a wow he's armor. building triforce Interesting. Very interesting on Rengar. But I kind of understand the idea behind it. How so? Explain it to me. Rengar has a lot of abilities he can spam, correct? Okay. Get that melee slow. He has, he has four abilities, correct? Yep. Yeah. Get the... Uh, well, I mean, the four spammable abilities, <laughs> okay, except okay. for his I, I know, I know what you're saying. Okay, yeah. And um, because he can go invisible, he has like a disengage there, so he doesn't really need to have like something like a frozen mallet instead mm -hmm. of... So we can, you know... He can chase and run away at the same time. You know, he has both options open to him. Okay. Doesn't really need to go... I mean, it'd be nice if we had a Randuins or something right now. Yeah, that's very true. that pop in. Another thing to note is Karthus didn't have his ult that fight. Again, yep. if they had that ult, it would have prevented... Or would've... Oh, so Ooh. much damage on the base to Newell. And that was just a Lesra. Wow. But actually, I think it was a poke from me to carry, but still okay, okay. so much damage. Yeah. And now the red team knows that they can actually lose a team fight. Yep. Which is really big. I feel like they'll do a better job now of protecting Draven. Yep. Though. So. That's what they need to do, right? 6,000 gold difference, even though there's seven kills in two towers. I think that's pretty big. Yeah, I feel like they should just form around, like, the Draven and the Karthus. Everyone just kind of around, killing the tanks, and then they'll deal with the squishy people after, rather yeah. than ditching Draven to Rengar and kind of chasing after their squishy people. Exactly, exactly. Ezreal, how much gold do you got now? He almost has enough for, another, for a BF sword. If he can get that BF sword and get himself a Bloodthirster, he can start being a super big threat. Yep, very true, very true. Right now, he only has that Trinity Force. It's not as big of a deal as... Uh, as Draven with his you know, super amount of AD and attack speed. Yeah, which was another reason that Esquire really didn't need to chase him. Because he's yeah. really not doing that much damage. His dra Their Draven is doing a lot of damage. They need to keep yeah. him alive. Exactly. If she would have just turned around and went oh, on Inox instead. And oh, Inox getting caught by the wall. There's the solid engage. Samuel taking so much damage. Flashes away from the Ezreal ulti. Canadian also taking a bunch of damage. So is Esquire. TikTok goes down. Now it is four versus... Oh, the ultimate. Gonna get Inox. Wow. Ouch. So much damage there. And now I they can just chase. Because Samuel is big. He has a lot of health. Esquire engages onto Sugar Lolly. Very nice. Trying to stop. Oh, actually stopped him underneath the turret. Samuel wow. is taking so much damage, though. The bleed stacks. Yep. Get the double kill. Damn. Damn. Damn, Samuel flashing damn, away from that damn. Ezreal ulti, that was what saved the team fight yep. there. Yep. If it's he didn't, you know, he would have taken that whole, like, 450 damage or whatever. I really like this. I really like what they're doing right here. Yep. Going for this Baron. That's, it, yep. it looks risky, but with the entire team down, it's a great play. Exactly. And they have two tanks who can tank it, as well as someone who can heal. Yep. So they're doing, they're doing all right here by taking this. Yep. Very good play. Instead of just backing and thinking. Yep. yep. And the Ezreal ulti is enough to steal. So, very safe. Mm -hmm. Nom 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 from Canadian. What happens if a minion steals Baron? Who gets the gold? I don't think minions can steal Baron. Can they attack creeps? I've seen like... Okay. I don't think so. Okay, okay. Maybe not. Yeah. I don't know. Maybe what if you like lure like a siege minion into the Baron pit? And then the Baron pit attacks everything away. around it. And the Baron starts attacking the, the siege, siege minion? minion. The siege minion won't attack it back though. Oh, okay. Possibly. It'll just walk away. Who knows? One of the great mysteries of League of Legends. No, I'm just kidding. You're, <laughs> you're probably right. I feel like I'm right. Yeah, you're probably right. 
<laughs> then all all the minions get like Baron buff. They just become like Sobe. Ooh, <laughs> Karth is going in here. On it looks like Sugar Lolly's gonna be going down. Maybe, maybe. maybe. He yep, actually has okay. some nice movement speed. Yep, 389. Able to get out of there. I have the Triforce now on Inox and uh, kind of nearing the the Bloodthirster on uh, Ezreal. Yep. I have a feeling we're gonna go to the another best of three. Yep, I totally agree. This game is going. Like 10,000 gold difference. That's that's huge. That's two big items. That's two Trinity Forces and enough left over for like a couple packs of five wards. Yeah. Especially with Draven's build. He's not... Ooh. Oh. This is this could be dangerous. Red team potentially coming out to 80 carry. He hops over the... Actually, that was a really scary E. That was... He was yeah, if far away that from that. Ooh. He was far away from the wall. About as far as he can be. He wasn't right beside it. He did have cleanse. Good cleanse, maybe. But yeah, very dangerous. I agree. A little bit of poke on the base to Newell. Newell doesn't have any armor. 83 at this point. Only 2400 health. Let me give you a hug. It looks like they really want to defend this turret. <gasps> Knockup hits all three of them. Yeah, but the wave just got cleared so fast. Yeah. I feel like Sona's getting ready to flash in. Yep. Flash ulti. Yep. Karts have ult. Karts has ult. No flash though. But I feel, I feel like, like they, if they to go get now. a flash Sona, <laughs> ulti, I feel like that'll go really, really well. I think next time that Karth is. I mean, uh, what's it? Uh, the wave gets here? Next time the wave gets here, but also when uh, Trogath hits a Q like Knock that up, yeah. on like Orion and stuff, just dive in. Everyone yeah. at once. Just pile in. If they get the uh, knockup followed by the Sona ulti? Yeah, flash, yeah ulti. that's what I mean. Like Sona yeah. flashing over the wall and ulting. It's, oh, her flash is up now. That's that's what they're waiting for. Oh, uh, okay. Blue team's kind of backing off. Oh, the dodge just misses. And oh, then the re-engage. Only onto Canadian, though. Samuel taking a lot of damage from Inox. Look, he's going to be going down. Yes, one more auto attack. They get in on, or they get Samuel down. That's huge. Fupo's now. Also looks like he's going to go down. Maybe Bless to Newell. Bless to Newell underneath the turret still. And this is AD Carry gets a kill there. So that's two for one. Oh, potentially another kill. Oh, so close. This is AD Carry taking a lot of damage. The ultimate goes off. Clearing the wave, someone take, doing some damage to Fupos. Inox now pretty low himself. They have double Sunfire Capes, isn't that interesting? It's a lot of AoE damage. Yep. And oh, Canadian and Esquire engaging a very hard. Nice. Very nice. Gets a kill there. TikTok now losing that Oracle's double kill for Esquire. I feel like it was a mistake for him to re-engage there when yep. Inox is already dead, basically. Yep. They should have left the tower. The Baron is just healing them so much. Yep. I completely forgot that they had Baron there. He's like, these guys are just beasts. Yeah. <laughs> damn. Damn, son. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. Have you seen that video? Mm, no? Okay. Damn, 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 damn. Which one? It's like the uh, food review guy. He's going like, damn, damn, damn. No, I haven't. Nope. Okay. <laughs> You've missed out. It sounds kind of funny. It is very funny. Uh, let's let's not toot our own horn here. We're finding something funny, okay? <laughs> okay, fine. It's like someone who's telling you a joke, and right before they tell you it, they're like, this is a really funny joke. <laughs> Cause like it's like saying you know I have a really big dick. Even if you're right, you still look like a douchebag. Oh man. Okay. Okay. I see where you're coming from. Yeah. There you go. So AD <laughs> carry getting getting the big jungle. Big Going jungle a little bit creep. off topic there, but that's okay. Yeah, just a little, just a little. Looks like we're gonna have the uh, the last whisper being built next for Mr. AD carry. Yep. Whereas last whisper was already finished for Draven. Very true. Hmm. Karth is getting really huge now. He has a voice app and he's already getting on the Zonias. Yeah. Next. Getting that Zonias will be ridiculous. He's about 1300 gold away though, so it's not, it's not, they don't have to worry about it too soon. But still, he has what, 540, yeah, it's 547 AP. Yep, very good. That's ridiculous. Oh, the wall catching two people there. The poke. Oh man. On. A little bit of harass engage almost. A little bit. They knew that the enemy team wouldn't want to get on top of a Mumu there to stop him from, you know, being on top of uh, Karthus, because if everybody dives to kill a Mumu, then he just ults, and then you see the Orianna ult. So he's kind of safe to do that, a little bit of engage, you know? Yep, I, I see where you're coming from. Oh, that was real ulti. Oh, yeah. Clearing out so much CS. I love it. Oh, so much damage from Inox. Clearing out the waves. Based is getting uh, poked down a lot. Yeah. Especially he's no definitely, he's in the front, and he's trying to hit like, yeah. those cues. 
especially the, the Q Sona, Sona range Sona. from uh, the Q range from Ezreal, a lot longer than the Q from Garthus. You think so? I think so. Yeah. Oh, maybe. I think I'm pretty sure. Garthus. I, I don't know. Maybe we'll have to we'll have to look that up on the Googles. Googles. Yeah. Got the Google tubes. They're stacking up in that one spot, and that's really awkward to me. Like the the place they're standing. Yeah. And kind of stacking up. Okay, here they go. Oh. I mean, they now know where the blue team is, though. But the blue team does not have oracles, do they? Nope. Oh. No, so they were standing on top of a ward. Now oh, they're going around. So they're on the top of another ward. <gasps> this is terrible. They are getting caught in between a rock, that's, and an even that's bigger game. rock. That's the game. Yep. Samuel goes down. TikTok looks like that's he's going to be going down as well. This is GG. Those three kills there. Excuse me. Oh, Eddie Care, you gotta run, buddy. Run. Jeez. He goes down to Sammy. No, Esquire can just tank this. Yeah. Canadian's so monstrously large now. Maybe it's not game over. They have a lot of stuff to go through. So, nope. Never mind. There we go. <laughs> GG. So it looks like we're going to another best of three. Excellent play by Blue Team. They're very to, like, stack excellent up and then yep. sneak up behind him. Alrighty guys, I've been talking about this all day today and all day yesterday. We are doing a $10 RP giveaway. Use the hashtag E-T-R-Y-E-G and follow OK Game to enter on Twitter. You can win 10 bucks worth of RP. If you are in the Edmonton area and you got yourself some uh, hunger, legendary hunger, check out Oodle Noodle, delivery all over the city, 780-278-7877. Over here at OK Game, we do have League of Legends night every Thursday night from 6 p.m. to 10 p.m. Speaking of Overclocked, check out some of their social media, Overclocked. Uh, are okay gaming on Twitter, Overclocked Gaming on uh, Facebook, Overclocked Edmonton on YouTube, and www.overclocked.com. Speaking of Edmonton, check out Edmonton Gamers, EdmontonGamers.com, Twitter.com slash EdmontonGamers, YouTube.com slash EdmontonGamers, Facebook.com slash EdmontonGamers. No. 